Hello, and this is Justin, and welcome to this Oracle YouTube video tutorial. And in this video tutorial, we're going to discuss a utility that comes with a utility which comes with the uh, Oracle database software. It's installed automatically. You don't have to buy any additional software license or anything like that from the Oracle Corporation to utilize this. Um, this utility is called RMAN, and RMAN is short for Recovery Manager. All right, and uh, to see that it comes installed, um, we have a standard edition. We have the Enterprise Edition Oracle database installed here on our um, on our uh, Windows box, and we're going to go ahead and go to the Oracle Home, where our Oracle database is installed, uh, which is c colon slash Oracle slash app slash product slash eleven dot one dot zero slash db one. And we're going to go to our bin directory where all the executables are kept and the dynamic libraries are kept for our um, Oracle database software. And there is a program called RMAN, RMAN.execute, exe. And this is the recovery manager, R for recovery, M A N for manager. So, what RMAN does is it provides you a way to, an, an, a way to back up. And recover and restore and recover your Oracle database in a simple, uh, simple way, a simple fashion, a uh, simple compared to user managed backup and recovery. Um, this is RMAN, which is server managed backup recovery, which means that Oracle backs up the data files for you. Okay, so first thing you need to do before you can do RMAN is just RMAN works works like SQL plus. SQL plus, the SQL plus utility is the client program and the Oracle database is the server program. All right, it works the same way with RMAN. RMAN is the client program and the Oracle database is the server program. So, in order for the client to be an RMAN in this case to know um, what Oracle database to connect to, you need to set the Oracle SID just like you do with the SQL plus client program. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to set an Oracle SID to finance and then we're going to ensure that it's set correctly. Finance. Now, to connect to, we have to, to back up the, the database, we need to connect to the database as RMAN. And the database that you, and this is RMAN terminology, the database which you are backing up or restoring is known as the target database to RMAN. Okay, he's a database that, that the RMAN client is targeting to back up or restore. So we do RMAN space target space slash and what that's saying is connect to the database that the Oracle SID is set to which is finance. Okay, but connect to it as the as SysDBA user. Remember when you connect to SQL plus you do SQL plus space slash space as SysDBA well, with RMAN, you, you kind of do the same thing, but you don't, but you don't add the as sysdba. Why? Is because RMAN can only connect to a database as the sysdba privilege. So, so sysdba is implicit here; it's implied. So we type in RMAN space slash. We get the recovery catalog banner information. I mean, the recovery manager banner stuff. And our first message we get is connected to target database finance. And here's that DBID 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, the 10 digit number. Well, usually. Okay, um, DBID. And, fi and finance is our database name. So this right here tells us that we are connected to the target database. So our man has started, and we're connected to the database which is set in the Oracle SID variable, which is finance. So connected to target database finance DBID blah 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 okay and we know we're an RMAN because we have an RMAN prompt much like the SQL prompt we get when we're in SQL plus now to back up your Oracle database it's quite simple you type in backup database that's all you have to do and you hit enter
Okay, and R man connects to the control file, and the control file tells R man where the data files are, and R man takes care of everything else. R man takes care of what blocks are currently in use, uh, and what blocks it can back up, what order it needs to block them up in. R man takes care of all of that. You also notice this message here when we started our backup. It says using target database control file instead of recovery catalog. Okay, I'll discuss that when we uh, when we talk about RMAN recovery catalogs and we talk about what that is. Okay, so we backed up our or we did a backup database and yes, it's that easy, folks. So we did a backup database like so. It backed up our data files and it backs them up into to, into backup pieces. Okay, this right here, there are two backup sets created here. The first backup set were your data files and the backup set is is a terminology used within Oracle I mean within RMAN sorry and uh, the backup piece is the file name that the backup set is written to so RMAN will automatically generate a, an eight digit an eight character file name called a backup piece and you'll get hyphen one hyphen one after all of them the only time you won't get a hyphen one, I mean underscore one underscore one, is if you are, is is if you, if you're using other features of um, of RMAN, such as you can split up the backup pieces, uh, you can do series of backup pieces, and we'll talk about that in more advanced RMAN tutorials. But as of now, just know that you backed up your Oracle database. Now to list the to, to list what backups you have you have you have. Uh, Perform than R man, you type in the command list backup like so. Now this is reading the this is reading the control file. All metadata about the Oracle about Oracle database backups taken with an R man are retrieved automatically from the database control file. There's a se special section in the control file just for R man backup information. As you can see, if you type in list backup as we did, it's going to show you list of backup sets. It's going to say here it is. This backup set here. ID one belongs to this is in is contained within this file name and it contains a backup of these DBFs and right here it's saying backup set two contained in this file name um, c contains the control file okay to delete the backup what you do is to delete all to delete all the backups that our man knows about but before I do that I'll show you that it did actually write and by default, it writes it to this directory, database under your Oracle home. There are the two backup pieces that we wrote, BA and C4. BA, see there it is, and C4. So the backup pieces did write, okay? And and, and they're written in they're written in RMAN proprietary um, binary format. So you won't be able to read those files. Only our man can open and read those files and write to those files. Okay, so we do list up backup, list backup, and we see all of our backup uh, pieces, well, backup sets within uh, within our man. To delete them, we type in delete backup, just like this. It's going to give you the two backup pieces, B8 and C4. It's going to say, do you really want to delete the above objects? Type in yes, set that confirmation. And it says deleted backup piece, deleted backup piece, deleted two objects. Now when you type in list backup, you'll see that they are no longer there. And if we do a DIR in that directory, we will see that our underscore one, underscore one files are no longer there as they are here. So the delete backup command not only deletes the, the history of the backup out of the control file, but also deletes them physically from disk. So we're going to connect with our man again, and this time we're going to do something different. This time we're going to say backup database plus archive log. So we're going to say backup the database plus the archive logs. And what it does first is it does a switch, an archive log switch. It backs up the archive logs that we have. 
then it backs up the data files then you're gonna see it's gonna back up the control file and then it's gonna back up the archive another archive it's gonna do another archive log switch and then back up the archive logs again you'll see that in a second when it's done right in the backup All right. So we're so here's another archive log that it wrote. Okay. So basically, we have here the here the backup sets that this backup created. We have KH, which contains archive logs. We have a KL, which contains our data files. We have LH, which contains um, our control file. And we have um, LO, which controls our archive logs. Okay. Now I'm actually going to take a copy of this, and I'll explain this in a second. This backup piece name is imperative, and I'll explain that in a second. Okay. So this backup piece contains our control file, as you can see. Okay. Now if we do a list backup, we receive that information. LO contains an archive log as we see here. LH contains a control file. KL contains the data files. And KH contains archive logs. Okay, so now, and if we do a DIR, we will see those four archive logs, data files, control file, archive logs. We will see those four files there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test to ensure that our man works correctly. Here's all the files that make up our database. Control files, redo logs, data files. I'm going to shut down, abort the database, which just kills the database immediately. And I'm going to delete everything all the files to make up my finance database. Start up my dit trial. Now I'm going to attempt to start up my finance database. It's going to try to look for those files. They're not there. Error in identifying control file. Check alert for more info. I'm going to shut down the port because there's nothing really to, to shut down gracefully. And I need to restore my database. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. What do I do? Well, all you have to do, as long as your P file is there, just type in RMAN target, like that. Now it connects to a target, there's nothing there, and the database not started. So you have to start your database in no mount node to begin with. And you can do a startup no mount just like you can in SQL Plus. You can do the same thing in RMAN, which is pretty convenient. So startup no mount, it says Oracle instance started. So now we're at a state where we have an Oracle instance to connect to, but we don't have a control file, so we can't start the database up to mount mode, and we certainly can't start the database up to, to the default mode, which is open mode, because we don't have any data files. So what do we do? Now that the instance has been started, we restore our control file, and we do that with the following command. Restore control file from... And in single quotes, we give the backup piece name, semicolon. So we're saying restore the control file from this backup piece name. And look what it did. It not only restored a control file, but it gave us three copies. It made three copies of the control file, our multiplexed mirror control file. Because our P file told our man that it needs that that, that that we're expecting three copies of the control file. So even though we only backed up one, our man automatically made three copies of it, which is pretty cool. And if we do a DIR in our finance directory, we'll see that our control files have automatically appeared. Now that we can now that we um, restored our control files we can mount our database instance. So we can do alter database mount. Yes, right from RMAN you can do it. You don't have to go into SQL plus and back and forth. 
database mounted. Now our man can now we don't have to say restore from and explicitly say the backup piece name like we had to do with the control file. Now that the control file is mounted, all the information about the control about the backups are now accessible, the backup metadata in the control file. So now what we can do is to restore our database, all we do is restore database, semicolon. And you're probably thinking, it can't be that easy, but I'm telling you, it is. It's reading the backup. It's restoring all of our data files. So it's reading from the, key L, from the KL backup piece. Obviously, these backup files have to be where Armin expects them to be and has to be available for this to work. It's that easy, folks. And the, the save on YouTube time, YouTube time, I'll pause the video until the restore is completed. And we're back, and the restore has completed. Now you need to recover your database, and how do we do that? Oh, just as easy. Type in recover database. And we get our usual unknown thread error. And now we type in alter database open reset logs. Just like we did in the user managed recover recovery video with SQL Plus, but it's just but notice in R man, we don't have to put the table spaces in the backup mode. Why? Because R man is backing up the database. R man, who, who better to back up the database than Oracle himself? So R man is internally communicating with Oracle. R man knows about the data files and user managed backup and recovery. You're using an OS utility such as a copy OS copy command or whatever you're using. Or, or some kind of a backup program, okay? It has no knowledge about the data blocks within Oracle, not, not in, it, within the file, nor does it care. So to be safe, you have to put the t you have to pause the t the uh, data file, put it in backup mode. You don't have to do that here because our man knows what blocks are in use and it has internal structure knowledge of the database, okay? Um, but just to keep in mind, you do the database needs to be in archive log mode in order to back it up while it's up and running. So you just can't do a backup database within RMAN while the database is up and running without being in archive log mode. That is true for RMAN as well. And if we do a DIR, we will see that our data files and everything have been returned to us. They're back. And if we go into SQL SysDBA, select name from the database. Select open mode from the database, make sure we're, we're read right. DBA table spaces. We will see that our database is healthy. So that's how you use RMAN, and uh, there'll be more, uh, there's more adva advanced RMAN videos out there. Take a look. But that's basically the basic RMAN um, tutorial. And yes, Recovery Manager, I do recommend, just like Oracle Corporation recommends, that you use. RMAN, which is server managed backup and recovery, to backup and recover your Oracle databases. It's it's becoming a fast standard, and yes, it's that easy. So I definitely there's a lot of good publications available out there. I suggest you get your hands on one. All right, that's how you back up the database using RMAN.